around me. What's going on? Coach Ian Tatum, co-offensive coordinator and offensive line coach at Walkertown High School here in North Carolina. Uh, here with another video. Today we're going to talk about a pin and pull concept. Uh, before we get into that, appreciate all the love and support on these videos and on this channel. Uh, if this sounds good, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Uh, give me a comment uh, if you run pin and pull. Uh, or uh, our question of the day, what is your favorite uh, football concept, pass, run, or screen? And uh, who's your favorite coach, college or NFL? Uh, just a little bit of interaction on the channel. Trust me, it helps out the videos a lot when you do that. So you'll be helping me out, doing me a huge favor. But uh, let's get into the video. So right now we're going to talk about pin and pull. So what is pin and pull? Uh, it's very similar to the old school wing tee concept, buck sweep. Uh, only difference is for me, I believe, is that on buck sweep, there's always going to be two guards pulling, whereas on pin and pull, at least from what I believe and what I understand, pin and pull, anybody can pull. So we're going to talk about a little bit of pin and pull, how good it is, and uh, different things you can play off of it. Because a couple of things, it can be run to any front, uh, simple rules to block it. And it can be run out of multiple formations. And that's what you want. You want plays that can be run against anything. And you can have multiple variations out of multiple uh, formations. And you can do the RPO game off of it, which you know helps out a lot of people in the new age of football. So let's get into it. This would be pin and pull uh, out of just a base, you know, tight end on the line formation. Okay, so pin and pull, and I'm gonna put the running back and the quarterback on there in a second, but a couple of rules for pin and pull. First off, whoever this tight end is, okay, the guy you have, it might be a wing, it might be a tight end, it might be a receiver that you motion in, whoever it is, needs to block the end man on the line of scrimmage. Either they need to pin them if they're inside leverage, or they need to reach them if they're outside leverage. Straight up, that is, that is the first rule, okay? So in this look, he's playing an outside nine technique, so on this, he would reach him Okay, and try to capture his outside shoulder. Okay, if he was lined up inside, you just pin him down. Okay, now rules for the lineman because it's so simple. Okay, first rule: if you have if you have somebody in your backside gap, or if you have a down, you have a down block. Take a down block. Okay, so this tackle is going down block. There's three technique. Okay, so then the center has a backside one, so he's going to down block this backside guy all right so now we're gonna work on the uncovered i mean not uncovered but the guy doesn't have that doesn't have a back guy in the backside gap okay they are going to pull so no you don't have a down you're going to pull okay so the first puller okay on the play side will be this guard he's responsible for a forced defender okay so right here this will be all game planning and stuff like that if this end is a box player okay then we will pull inside of that so say he comes out, right? Then we will pull inside of that for whoever's out here as a force player, okay? But let's just say that he plays into that, okay? Well, then you need to trap pull, okay? Because he's the first puller. It's going to trap pull, all right? Trap pull, and you're going to get outside whoever the force player is, okay? Second puller, okay? Or maybe sometimes a third puller, okay? will always skip pull, all right? So the backside guard will skip pull around, okay? Looking for whatever area he can get in and dent the defense, okay? And for this first linebacker or safety, whoever shows up. Now, <clears throat> now we'll put the, the quarterback and the running back, okay? We're gonna do, put the running back away from uh, the play side, okay? So he's gonna be on the left, we're going to the right. Why? Because we wanna read this guy, all right? So we're going trap like you're running like an outside zone stretch or like when we ran power read, same track, okay? And a quarterback, okay, is gonna read this guy, okay? So since we're going to read this guy, the backside tackle is also gonna pull around, okay? For this backside linebacker. So now we got three guys pulling, all right? He's gonna pull through the A gap, for wrap around for this weak side linebacker. He's gonna pull around probably to the B gap or whoever he can get through. And his front side guard is gonna be pulling for a force player. Say they roll down, so they roll down one high, okay? And he goes outside because he goes inside. Well, now you're kicking the Sam, I mean, the, the strong safety, okay? 
So that's how that works, all right? Now, let's start up a different way. All right, so same formation, same defense, okay? Now, let's say that guys are in the flow. Like, we, we run pin and pull a lot, right? So now, he's going to come down, he's going to flow over, everybody's flowing over to stop, pin, and pull, okay? And one of the best things we can do off of that, you can run any of your gap scheme, right? I mean, you, I would run, I would run counter back this way, right? I pull these guys, block down, same side, come back this side if they're gonna overload. But let's say we're gonna keep the pin and pull because that's what we do, right? A couple other things you can do: you can motion some guys, or you can get into the RPO game, which is what we're gonna talk about real quick. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Remember, he's always gonna block the man on line of scrimmage. Take him down, block the force. Take him down. Skip, pull around, okay? But if we, we're gonna go RPO, you can tag it. You can tag repo, you can tag lock, you can tag your concept, you can tag whatever it is to tell this tackle, hey, you got you got block back, you got block down, okay? Don't pull, because we can't have this guy coming downhill, all right? And we'll probably end up reading this guy or this guy, whichever one you feel comfortable with. If he's coming over, he's running through the gaps, and he's making plays, RPO this guy. Okay, come up, run slant right there, run glance, okay, whatever. If he's playing outside leverage, do that. If he's playing, you know, inside leverage, okay, he's playing in here. If he's starting to get a little nosy, okay, then run a little out, okay, block right there, all right, or just run him off, okay, right there, okay, read this guy. He's starting to come down, boom, throw the out. Now we got numbers out here, okay, but at the end of the day, give the live, okay, and sit there and just hand the ball off. You're still running and pin and pull, okay? RPO game, super, super nice, okay? Then, once you start to get nice with it, okay, as the kids would tell you, okay? Oh, I'm nice with it, coach. Cool. Now, we can sit there and we can fake pin and pull, okay? Going there, all right? Everybody's sucking up. Coming here, hit the pop, okay? Drop back, throw it right there. Okay, everybody's falling down because they're stopping pit and pull. Hit the tight end, okay? A couple of variations. Um, I'm not gonna do it against odd front right now because the video's getting a little long. Uh, but this, uh, this right here is really good. Uh, pit and pull, uh, you can get multiple guys out there pulling. If they go in under front, then you might end up pulling the tackle out. Like if he lines up here, okay? And he's backside, okay? So now he's gonna block back and the center is gonna skip pull, he's gonna block back, and he'll be the force guy. So that's why I say pin and pull, anybody can pull, okay? And one thing about pin and pull that the kids love, is that all five of these linemen love to pull. They love to get out in space, get going, and block linebackers and secondary guys, because we're bigger than them. If anything, they're gonna run around us, there's a hole, right? So do what your players love, uh, to do. That's why I love running gap schemes. Guys love to pull. Guys love to block down because it's a lot simpler. All right. So instead of putting this in your playbook, um, if, but if your guys can't do it, you don't have guys that can pull, don't do it. Run zone, run ISO, run other things like that. Uh, but I think this can be really fun and really cool for your guys because nothing's better than when there is no force player and this guard is the force guy. He's leading up. He's leading up, and this tackle is also leading up. I've seen it where all three are leading up on guys, and it is a escort to the end zone. Trust me, guys, it's great. Um, but, again, I'm Coach Ian Tatum. Appreciate all the love on the videos. Um, make sure you're sharing it out, showing it love. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you guys can, can do the plays before you just put it in. And let's go win the state championship, guys. Appreciate it. Everything around me. <laughs> Take it, take it, take it, take it.